This is uh, 2532. And what it says is you have uh, four charges on the corners of a square, each of mass m, and charge q. So let's first draw that. Uh, four charges on a square. Each is m, q, and the edge of the square is l. And then these charges move out to where they're twice as far from the center. So you could figure out, if you want, that center is L over the square root of 2. This is L over 2, this is L over 2. Pythagorean theorem says it's L over the square root of 2. So you could say, okay, they move out to here, like that. And this one moves out to here, like that. But in the end, all that really means is the square is twice as big. So it's actually easier just to come out and say, they move on to a square besides 2L. So one trick is just to figure that out geometrically. You don't have to be able to just see it. You can figure out that this is L over the square root of 2. This is 2L over the square root of 2. And you can go back and refigure out the edge length, and you'll find that it's 2L. Okay. So they're on, they move from a square L to a square 2L. And the question is, how fast are they going when that happens? If they're being held here, and then released. How fast do they move away? So, of course, this is, again, an energy problem. We need to figure out the initial potential energy that they had, and then how much potential energy they lost when they got to here, and then we can take how much potential energy they lost and put it into kinetic energy and solve for the velocity. So the question is, how fast are they going? It'll also help that it's symmetric. We can assume that they're all going to gain, they're all going to move out radially, they're all going to gain the same amount of energy. So the total uh, potential energy uh, for the original square is uh, what? Let's see, so delta u is going to be u initial minus u final, u in the small square, u to the big square. So for the initial, we have to add up all the pairs. So how many pairs are there? There's, uh, well, there's four sides. Okay, so you have four at a distance l, and then you have two across the diagonal. So you have two at a distance of uh, square root of 2L, L, L square root of 2L. So initially then, we would write it, uh, the initial energy is K, uh, Q squared, so we're doing energy, KQ squared, and then it would be over the distance, so let's write that as we have 4, or it's just L, 4 of them are L, plus 2 of them are uh, square root of 2L, farther away. So I went ahead and uh, did a shortcut and just wrote that in one term. This is really all six of your elements. You can make sure it's six uh, because there's four charges, so three plus two plus one is six. So you can check it kind of like we did before. And then, this is uh, the initial energy. You want to take away the final energy. <clears throat> well, all you're really doing is moving from a square of L to a square of 2L. So it's almost the same thing. KQ squared, and that's uh, now 2L, 4 over 2L. That's square root of 2 over uh, 2 times the square root of 2L. So those 2's go away. 1 over the square root of 2L. So it's the same thing. We just divided each of these, uh, uh, or we just increased each of these distances by a factor of 2. Everything's bigger than by a factor of 2. When you subtract these two things, uh, so this is delta U, really you're taking this thing and taking away half of it. So the answer is just that it's half of the original value, or you can subtract it by hand if you want, but this is going to be equal to k q squared. Uh, so we have 4L minus a half of 4L, what is that? That's uh, uh, 2 over L. And then this term uh, was 2 over root 2L minus 1 over root 2L is plus 1 over root 2L. Okay. That is your um, lost potential energy. Then you can say that's going to be equal to... Okay, so now I have the... Uh, and now minor edit. I have uh, the total energy of taking these four charges out to there, all of them moving out. But to get the velocity of each charge, I need to divide that total potential energy we lost by four. Because this is the total potential energy we lost, and each particle only gets a fourth of it. So we'll say one fourth kq squared 2 over l plus 1 over square root of 2 l equals 1 half l v squared. So all we did is 
to take a fourth of it, and now we're just going to start combining things. Uh, bring the m under here, and bring the one half under, so multiply by two, and you can go ahead and distribute it in there. I'll just do some of that all at once, and you get that v squared equals what? Equals um, that'll two will come and I'll make that one half again. K q squared over m. And why don't we go ahead and bring the L out, L, and what's left, 2, plus 1 over the square root of 2. All right, and then finally, if we want to get the velocity here, the velocity, I'll distribute this 2 half in there, and take the square root, and you get that the velocity is the square root of kq squared over ml times um, 1, 1 half, 2 is 1, plus 1 over 2 to the square root of 2. And that matches the back of the book, except that they call this one over the square root of 8. And we need to actually give it a direction, outward. Right, they're all going outward. That's it.